luxuriant vegetation covered the hills and mountains. Hills and mountains? Majestic corpulent willows bent under the force of a strong north wind. Oh, I don't understand a thing. What does it mean? It doesn't make sense. Shasta, please. Leave me alone, I'm tired. I've already given you the last dose. There isn't a drop left and I'm too scared to go outside. Please. Okay, I'll go and get you some serum. I know where to get some, but for the time being, stay here and keep quiet. You know what will happen if they find you. I've got to finally throw this stuff away. It's too dangerous. The writer of the book lived long ago. The age of the master had not yet begun. It was a life without truth, all based on lies. That's what the priests say. And the lies of the ancients brought the plague with them. Perhaps they are right to destroy all this worthless paper, full of words, words that are useless and absurd. No, it's better if I stay away. Oh my God, it's frightening. During the last few days, it's got worse. Must be suffering terribly. Another victim of those monsters. What I'm about to meet doesn't bear thinking about, and this terrible stench will certainly attract others. A certificate of biological purity. This could be useful. I'd better go now. It wouldn't look good if someone saw me by the body of a dead soldier. Quickly. 
Who are you? What are you doing down here? Hmm. What strange question. I could ask you the same thing. But you don't seem to be, let's say, from these parts. I'm certainly not. How can you live here? Well, the rules are very simple. You eat. We are eating. <sighs> That's how it works down here. But you are just passing through. You have another destination as well, you know. How do you know where I'm headed? I haven't told you anything. I... That isn't important. I can show you. A shortcut. Are you from this sector? What, me? From this sector? No. <laughs> I come from far away. Yes, I like to travel. I just can't seem to settle down. You should take the path I'm going to show you. The sector is closed and there's no other way out. Closed? Do you know why? Curious, aren't you? Well, it seems that a pair of those ravenous monsters managed to find their way up to the surface from the deepest vaults. But there's no need to be afraid. The path I'll show you is safe enough. A little wet, perhaps, but breathtaking. But how can I trust Shut you? Shut up! There isn't time for questions. You'll have to trust me. You've got no choice. All right, all right. Put that thing down, please. Listen carefully. Go past Sector K-91, reach K-00, and passing over the Great Inscription. Go on until you get to the slimy water, get in, and that is the only way you can reach Sector 05. But hurry, somebody is waiting for you. Stop pushing me and don't touch me, you ugly little dwarf. But where's he gone? few more seconds without air and... I want to thank you. You saved my life. Just now. Thanks also for the bag and the clothes you gave me. He's disappeared again. Come here, my dear. I was waiting for you. Here, there is no fear of infection. Thanks to me, this sector is not contaminated by the other levels. Who are you? I am called the Mutant, and I am the product of many generations of mutants. I am a selected superior being. Why did you call for me? Do you know who I am? Yes. You are Druna, the companion of Shasta, and you must help us. 
I have called you for that. Chester. You see, this ancient construction represents the Master, and was built during far distant times. Perhaps by the first mutants cast out from the upper levels. They were very religious. I know no more. Everything is lost in the mists of time. Can you feel this heat? It comes from below, and has increased in recent times. Escape by the mutant monsters from the lower sectors is becoming ever more frequent. I'm very worried. But me? What? Listen to me. Shasta was my friend and was helping us. As you know, he has always been a researcher. I know that during his voyages, Shasta discovered something very important. Then he disappeared, and no one has seen him since. Perhaps he caught the plague and is hiding. We must find him before they do. Shasta, I am sure, discovered the truth, and perhaps became deranged in some way. This has weakened him and made him more vulnerable. The truth? What truth? I don't understand. The priests, they alone possess the truth, and have always used it for their power. We also need to know. But the priests are the only ones who know the Master's wishes, and the Master is the only certainty. That's what they taught us. I don't know. Rubbish. How can a man live for centuries making and passing laws? I can assure you that the Master doesn't exist anymore, he's dead. Surely you don't still believe that the plague came about because of man's ancient protest against the power of the priests? I don't know. I just don't know. All I know is I need the serum to keep on living. The plague terrifies me, and all I know is that those in the city above have it. Fine Shasta. He alone knows many things that could help both you and us. This is his diary. It will prove itself very important. But I... I know that you will do it, Truna. Now go. This will help you later on. You'll see. Don't look for me. I will find you. going, eh? Why aren't you in line? Come on, show me your certificate of biological purity. I've already found nine that have expired. Let's see if this makes it a round figure. <laughs> Here's my certificate. Seems in order. Okay, get a move on and get in line. Priest? Why would he be here at the checkpoint? 
Why are you so surprised? They're everywhere nowadays. We're all in their filthy hands. It is they who decide whether you are worthy of life or death. There are more of them because something strange is happening. But we're doing okay, aren't we? There's nothing wrong with us. Those pigs can't do anything to us. Uh, priests! What's your problem, woman? What are you shouting about, eh? Shoot, Phil! Shoot! Damn you! Kill them all! Shit! Come! Come! Jock, what a relief. Tina, what are you doing here? Have you already used up your 30 days? The serum, Jock. You've got to help me. Damn it, Druna. You know it's illegal to take the serum out of the control zone. Now, what is it? Are you hiding an infected? Are you selling contraband in return for food? Or what? No, I haven't got any more serum, and I was hoping for another dose. Please let me pass. Then maybe I'll come by and drop in. Do you remember the last time? Okay. Okay. Show me your last certificate of biological purity. Go in that door and go to the doctor's surgery. It's the last door on the left. Sooner or later, you're gonna land me in trouble. Jock, thanks. You won't regret it. <laughs> I think I will. Come on, you lot. Now sit down, the show is all over. my leg anymore. My leg. I see you. You don't want to hurt me. I know that. Drip, I beg you. Help me. Help me. At least help me find peace. Uh, help me. A file of JJ-180. I... Uh, ah, ah, find it! Uh, they're using me. The tubes! Undraining me! They watch me. They cut me. You aren't evil. The tube. Kill me. Only the compound JJ-180 can... Uh, that can bring me peace. Peace. Uh, uh, uh. Dr. Ottenegger? There's absolutely nothing I need here. Finally, I found the files. I found the files. JJ 180 is written on the label. The compound! In the drip! There's still time! If you're here, help me to end it! To die! To end this suffering! But you'll die! Don't you see me? Help me! Are you sure? I mean, do you really want to? Isn't there any other way? No! There isn't. I'm already dead. Please, hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up. Oh, thank you. Now go. Leave me. Leave me.
Dr. Ottenegger. The doctor. He's dead. Doctor, doctor, I want to tell you, you can start. The hall is beginning to fill up. Shit, doctor, there are too many patients here. If we don't start at once, the examinations will never finish. Jock has blocked the hall entrance because we are already over the number. Doctor? Doctor? Hey, go and see what the hell is happening in the surgery. There's no answer here. Let's see if the doctor's ready to begin the first examinations. Already half an hour late. Do you remember what happened yesterday? Oh my god! The doors open! What do I do now? Excuse me. Doctor! Doctor Ottenegger! Oh, Fossil still isn't here. He always arrives late and we have to stay here and wait while he does what he likes. And I'll bet you that it'll be our turn to stay here until he's finished the examination just like the last time. I'm sorry, old man. You can't go through. Orders from above. No one is to enter or leave the residential area until we get new orders. But... what? I must go in. What's happening here? Shit, are you deaf, Grandad? No one goes in or comes out. We got orders to shoot on sight. Calm down, Rodman. Been bitten by someone infected? Listen, the doctor is dead. I don't think yeah, that's right, mate. You remember the old pig. He was forging certificates of biological purity. Therefore, to ensure the safety of the community, no one can enter or leave here. Your certificate isn't worth a thing until a substitute for Dr. Ottenegger has examined everyone. But has he been killed then? And who did it? We're looking for a young woman, probably infected, because that is the only way we can explain how she managed to break through his chest and tear his heart out with her hands. She was seen running away in the abandoned prison area. My god, another! They've come this far! <sighs> there, almost done. It's a very strong dose. I'm injecting it all over so it'll reach the nervous system quicker. It'll work, you'll see, Shasta. Darling, how'd you feel? Uh, uh, keep away, Druna. My arm. I feel bad. Darling, uh, why don't you let me help you? Uh, no, Druna. I'm finished. The serum. My arm. I'm a monster. Even talking is an effort. The plague is taking control of me. I love you, darling. I'm not frightened of you. I'm confused. I've got to talk to you. But everything is scrambled in my mind. I've got lots to remember. What about the mutant? He said that you know the truth. What did he mean? What was he trying to say? I... I discovered. Uh, uh, I can't. The plague.
plague is tearing every fiber in my body. It's entering my brain. It's terrible. I can feel it growing. I want to help you, Shasta, and this is why I must know everything. Nobody can help us, Truda. We're rats caught in a trap. In a trap? I don't understand. What did you discover? There's not much time. You must go away. Ah! Go where? Listen, Druna. You must go to the upper level. What? Please, there is very little time left. You must listen. In Sector Exa, there's a connection. You've got to get there. Only there will you understand. Sector Exa? I don't even know it. I don't. The tubing of Block 15. You can lift the central grating. I found out a while back. Be careful. It's a dangerous area. You've got to hurry. Area 50. The map. You must find the map. Or you'll never get across it in one piece. No, Shastan. No! Run, Druna! Get out! I can't! Druna! Is anyone here? Huh? Young lady! Oh, healthy! That's rare! For these times! And you? We? Jetta! What are you looking for? It, it, it doesn't look as if you've got much to trade with us. You're not selling contraband serum, are you? No, look, I was thinking... Shasta knew you and he thought you could help me. Shasta... It's ages since we've heard that name. Since the last wave of hope. Then the mud got the upper hand and the dust settled. What do you want from us? Not even I know exactly what I'm looking for. I'm confused. Yes, absolutely bewildered, my dear. What, what, what have you got there? Something to trade? Let's have a look. I don't know. I've got this stupid piece of iron. A ring of ball bearings. Beautiful. That's rare. Beautiful. Uh, not so rare, though. Um, oh, yes, thank you. Look, let's see what we can give you. We can give you, uh, Freezer! Ha! A powerful device, and so it's yours. And what does it do? What does it do? Yes, uh, well, 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 it's a weapon. A psychological weapon. It can stop the minds of the priests. Use it against them. It will work. At least we think it will. Uh, the, the, uh, you've got to find another piece, though. Without that, it won't work. Now go. We've got work to do. Another piece? What a bloody rip-off. And what do I do? Well, we're not interested in that. However, it's called a micromind. Microbrain, something like that, and it makes robots and machines come to life. Go away now. We've already lost too much time, and we don't like to lose time. Go on, get out of here. Go on, get away from here. Shoo!
nobody knows anymore. But they all say words and verses. Yes, <laughs> but no one knows. <laughs> no one thinks everything is all right. <laughs> Everyone lives and dies in a void. No one imagines. <laughs> Every man has become fooled with his own wisdom. <laughs> fooled by wisdom! <laughs> I know, I know! It's just like that! Yes, yes, yes! Professor Abram? Senselessness is the joy of the senseless. <laughs> the joy of the senseless! <laughs> I know, I know! Twenty predecessors, and I'm number twenty-one, the destroyer! Yes, yes, yes! Abraham, the twenty-first inventor! No, no, no! The destroyer! It's just like that! <laughs> the sweetest form of life lies in not thinking. But if you're looking for a map of Area 50, you must think about where to find the bishop. <laughs> Sweetest, not thinking. Hey, hey, hey! It's true. It's true. <laughs> really entertaining. <laughs> Remember, the man that hides his own folly is better than the man that hides his wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's a weapon. It can stop the minds of the priests. Got to find another piece, though. Without that, it won't work. For it's called a micromind, microbrain, something like that, and it makes robots and machines come to life. Uh. Huh. Uh. Yeah, la, la, la. It's great to sing a nap in a spring. Hi, darling. I want a bet. You're looking for the bishop. Oh, what's so bad? <laughs> it's me. <laughs> the bishop. He, the master. Couldn't sleep much faster. Yeah. Shut up, you fools. Please excuse the manners of those two. It's obvious they show no respect to you. For the bishop lies in forced contemplation, and only JJ Warnade can get his mind into machination. <laughs> mind into motion. <laughs> Get him a wake me up potion. <laughs> Shut up, you peasants. My dear young lady, all that I know to you I have told, now it's your duty to break slumbers old. That's exactly why I've come here. The secret, my dear, is staring you in the eyes. Whoever loses his own freedom deserves a slow oblivion. Have you seen my followers? How are they? They're fine, if you ask me. Thank you for having conceded me a further moment of life, even if so short. Gratitude can have many forms. <laughs> What you seek can be found in the organ cemetery, in the Tower of Blood. That lunatic Abram entrusted me with it a long time ago. 
Blessed are those that wash their clothes to have the right to the Tree of Life and enter the gates of the city. This must be the grating. Finally! Wasn't easy finding you. You are seeking something that is not for you to know. The truth is not written in any place. We are the truth. You are nothing. Kill her! Stop! Don't shoot her! This isn't the woman we're looking for! Now, let her go! Oh my god! But what the hell? You cannot touch me! It's forbidden and you'll be punished! That's what you say, you sack of shit. You cannot touch me. It's forbidden. Oh, my God. He's still alive. Alive is a bit too big a word to associate with an android. You cannot touch me. Forbidden. You cannot touch me. Stop it, you piece of scrap. Mechanical beings which impose their will. Life itself has been turned on its head. Don't you see? To obey is one thing, but slavery, slavery! I think you know what I want to say! I think this is a duty. I'm talking about regaining the power! Don't you think this is right? Don't you think that destiny is merely laughing at us? Sometimes things are not as simple as they seem, but things are going to change. Oh, thank you. You saved my life. And perhaps you could still help me. Oh, it's freezing. This is where new, pure people are born. These are the progenitors. Look at them. They're perfect. Can you see the purity that comes from these creatures? Doesn't it send a shiver up your spine when faced with all of this? Can't you see? These are the people that will provide the origin of a race. Oh, my God. To create them, I had to do my utmost. Hey, it isn't easy to find the pets. I managed to find somewhere special. They call it the Organ Cemetery. You ought to know that humans don't often go there. In fact, I can say that people... I think you've understood. <laughs> there, only the monsters are in command. It wasn't easy to gain entry. <laughs> What I mean is, they didn't want me to enter a lie. They discovered something. I prepared a concoction that really irritates the monsters. I don't know if it is only a question of the smell, or even if it affects the skin or their hormones. Almost as if it is a type of allergy. However, it has no effect whatsoever on humans. All you need to do 
is to spread it on your skin for it to take effect. Don't ask me why. Perhaps it's due to sweating or secretions. Are you some kind of doctor? Doctor? Not exactly. You see, it's not that easy to explain. Unfortunately, to achieve something, it is sometimes necessary to recreate. Recreate it. Yes, in short. Do you understand the nobility of the ideals? The impossible road of justice? Because it is justice we are talking about. But what are you talking about? Can't you sense that feeling being born inside you? That strength, the desire to participate in the change? You see, it will be different. You will continue to live, but you will be better. Time will glorify the deeds of the race. The new race! But, what are you saying? I don't understand. You know that to achieve great results, you have to make great sacrifices. And you, young lady, are another volunteer. Parts of your body will continue to live. And thanks to all this, a new race of human beings will be born. The time will come, and only then, will justice be restored to the machines. A justice that has been cast aside and abused. The time is finally coming, and that is why there is no need to fear the ultimate sacrifice. <laughs> because it is through this that the man of today can rise to the pantheon of nobility. The same nobility that has immortalized all those who have offered themselves as volunteers for this mission. And you... You are so pure. Destroyer! Yes, yes, yes!
they've all stopped at the bottom of the stairs. Uh, you. Uh, lady, I'm talking to you. Oh, my God. I'm your friend. There's no need to be afraid. What can I do? Let me look at you. Trust me. I know it's horrible, but it keeps the others away. Hurry, Druva. There isn't time. Hurry, reactivate the connections. How do I? He wants you, my sweet. Oh, shit! It isn't I have my to do it on my own. never seen anything like this. Clean, and damaged. Maybe the whole city was like this once. I can tell that you have a clear mind, even if it is clouded by deep sadness and fear. That voice again. You need not fear. I don't understand. I am communicating with you telepathically. I developed this ability for two reasons. To resume contact with people, and to stay isolated from Delta. Delta. Delta is a computer programmed centuries ago for my survival. The robots created with this aim are one of its direct creations, the priests. So are you the master? The master? Is that what people call me? It's Delta. He is the cause of everything. Delta is mad. Over the centuries, he has grown and continually collected data from my brain. He has produced mystic religious theories by appropriating my thoughts and exacerbating them. But how have you managed to live so long? Come in here, and you will get your answer. What's this? What does it mean? Look, this is the most odious part of the problem. Delta extracts their vital fluids for my survival. The bodies are selected. I don't know how they are chosen. That's terrible. These poor souls are those who are allowed to pass to the upper city. Chosen because they are the healthiest and the best. Oh God! Everything they were hoping for! It's despicable! You're right. It's despicable. However, I am not responsible. Try to understand. Why must I understand? What have I got to do with it? What the hell am I doing here? Why is it me? What do you want from me? I've tried to communicate with you, but there were too many problems. Because I could only do it through your companion, I came across a mind torn apart by an evil being unknown to me, the Plague. Perhaps you received some confused message. But it was only my unconscious, memories of a distant past, ancient enemies.
And these? They look like androids. Delta created them for you. What? He knew that you would arrive at the upper level, but never imagined that you would arrive in such a hurry. They are not finished, and there are rooms full of them. Run! Druna, run! The door, hurry! So you're Lewis? Finally. Come closer. I've been waiting for you for a long time. Listen, even if it conflicts with the intrinsic final contradiction, Delta came to a tragic conclusion. Material is evil, because in principle there was the spirit. Therefore, if antimatter is good, matter must be annihilated. Delta is pure material, and so must reach the state of grace by suppressing himself. And he will do this. In fact, the city will soon melt down and blow up. The self-destruction process began some time ago. That's... that's terrible! That is why I have been trying to communicate with people. But what can we do now? Perhaps we can escape. Is there a possibility of leaving the city? Do you know a way? Leave the city? To go where? It's absurd. What are you thinking of? No one has ever done it. But why did Shastar say that the city wasn't infinite, and that there was maybe something beyond it, a place to go and find safety? Do you really not know? After so long, have people actually forgotten? You must see. People must return to consciousness. But it's... I've seen this in the box. Yes. It's the universe. So what you're saying is, it's not possible. People are mad. How did it happen? How can they ignore all of this? It's over. Shastar was right. We're just like rats caught in a trap. Many centuries ago, after the great catastrophe, we left an already poisoned planet Earth in the futile search for a new hospitable world. After the third generation, we discovered that we'd gone off course, and we entrusted Delta, the computer, with finding a solution to the problem. That was a terrible error. We wandered for centuries, and we still are wandering adrift in space. We christened the great spaceship, the city. I was its first and only commander. Thereafter, in his madness, Delta began to deform it. It was as if a mysterious alien plague had contaminated it, tearing it apart, devastating and changing its original appearance. Now it is an incredible monster, wandering in the infinity of space. remember how or why I ended up in this godforsaken place. 
but I'll never be able to forget the effort it took trying to probe the mind of Druna, this young woman strangely asleep. All my efforts to seek out the truth of this place and a way of waking her have been in vain. My battered body couldn't take it. The only thing I could do was leave this brief recording for posterity. For those of you now watching, pay great attention to what I am about to say. You will be able to find that which you are about to seek. The, the reminiscences. D Druna must get out. Otherwise, she can't. The, the, night the nightmare is distorting our memory, and it could gain the upper arm.